and welcome to yet another episode of RNN, backed by popular demand. We have got a totally wacky, fun-filled extravaganza of a show for you today. Fun, travel, news, sport, comedy, almost everything you could possibly think of. But first, this. It went with a bang. Mime, ballet, jazz, singing and drama. Over 75% of the school were included in the Easter demos. Over 80 parents turned up. We all hope there is as much support for this end of term show. This term we say farewell to our upper fifth class as they are leaving us and moving on to college and work. Some of the class have been with RTS and Corona all of their school lives. So a very special goodbye and very, very good luck from all of us at RNN. You're watching RNN and now we go over to Nick Cross solving another crime in Crime Time. Hello and welcome to Crime Time. On tonight's show we'll be looking at several reconstructions, but first we're going to interview a man who would like to remain anonymous. Let's call him Mr X. Hello, um, you're here to familiarise us with last month's bank robbery. Um, have you anything to say? I didn't do it! Yes, well, we know that. Um, if you have any information on any of the reconstructions you're about to see, please phone us on 0895 676714. That's my number, girls. See you after the break. Oh, thank God for that. I hope I'm getting paid for this. On camera! Very serious case. This is RNN. Before we go back over to crime time, we'll have a commercial break. See you after this. Mr. Parham's greatest hits. This perfect collection of songs includes many of these well-loved favourites. Come Follow the Band is featured on this compilation and many more. Yes, it's drier than the Sahara Desert. It's Mr. Parham's greatest hits. Recommended retail price, only $9.99. <laughs> This is RNN. Still to come, first aid, local news, and a special guide on Secret Service. But now we go over to crime time. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Nick Cross. Hi, and I'm Sue. Our first reconstruction is going to be in the Mushy Moors on the, on the evening of the 25th. We are using actors to play the part of Nina and the Killer. Here are the reconstructions. It was about 9.55, and it had just started to get dark. I was sitting in the car, and I saw her walk past. She turned the corner of Land Lane and started to walk down the lane. Just as she was out of sight, I heard a scream, and I saw a man running from where Nina had just walked. He was holding a blood-stained saw and had blood all over his clothes. He ran off into the direction of the motorway. I thought nothing of it at first. I thought the man was just a butcher running for a bus. Oh, uh, very serious case. If you have any information, uh, call us on the studio number. We believe this man is in possession of a chainsaw and he's roaming the streets in your area. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Don't have nightmares wherever you are. Ah! Another one bites the dust. Now we go over to one of our well-loved RNN correspondents in France on holiday with RNN. You did the same too. No, <laughs> Welcome to On Holiday with RNN. I'm doing a sleep of walking here. I would have said good morning, but it isn't morning yet. It's the middle of the night, but I'm happy and jolly and smiling. We're on our way to uh, Folkestone to get the sea cat to Boulogne in France, for those of you who don't know where Boulogne is. I'm, uh, taking a lorry at the moment. I want to zoom in on the test car. Film if one of them I say action. Bonjour, mes amis. Here we are in France. 
We had a very rough crossing, but we're all fully recovered and still on holiday with RNN. I'm not going to tell you where we are because it's totally unpronounceable, but it's somewhere between Abbeville and Rouen. Off we go. Action. France is cold, very cold. In case you thought we were in Wimbledon, we are in fact in Gaillon. In front of me is Henri Leconte, and he's winning 30 love. Tomorrow we're going to Euro Disney. We didn't get ruined in Rouen, and we haven't gone insane in the Seine as yet. Over and out. Bienvenue à Euro Disney. This is where it's all happening and you can share it on holiday with us and RNN. On y va. and very soon we'll be on the sea cat heading home to England. It's very windy and we are not expecting it to be a calm crossing. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what to do in the event that someone breaks their arm? 
Here's George. Hello there, viewers. I'm George, but you can call me Tarquin. Today, we'll be looking at what to do if someone breaks their arm. We had a volunteer who asked for his arm to be broken. <laughs> well, I think that's done it. Now, there are two things you can do in this type of situation. You can get a sling to support the arm, or you can amputate. No, 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 no! Now, you must cover your surface, causing less mess. Yes. We are now beginning the amputation, but just before we started, we covered the surface to cause less mess. discussing about backaches. Andy, and now from RTS to SAS, the Ravenscourt News Network Secret Service shall challenge the mind of bizarre and fictitious adventures where anything can happen. Hi, my name is Harry Harris, the presenter of Secret Service. Today I'm going on the underground, so I have with me, so I won't be conspicuous, a briefcase. <laughs> walk like a normal human being. Here I am on the district line, Ravens Court Park Station. Time now, 16.52 and 43 seconds. I'm in the 
the woman over there. Drinking the cup. I said it's right. Sorry. Yes, I'll make my move. Well, he missed his people first because he likes to be out. Really, I'm sure he's something on this one. Street, but oh my god, yeah, I told her how that's about that. I saw your window this morning, and under her breath. No, I can't repeat shit. <laughs> We're absolutely nowhere near Victoria Station, but I started recording anyway. speakers right and they're, they're talking really loud. Try it up again. This is Harry Harris, Secret Service, RNN. I bet you've never seen anyone do this before. You're watching RNN. I hope you're enjoying the show. And still to come, we've got news coming up in a cookery class. So let's now go over to the news presented by Judy Smith. I'm Julie Smith, and now for the news. A report just in claims that the maturity of teenage population has dropped. can be extremely boring when nothing is happening. So our news correspondent, Ben Davis, will show you what RTS get up to. Hello! Hello! Hello, here's Ben Davis, your roving reporter. Come to see... Now, which Chris do children like? Do they eat cheetahs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Or do they not? Well, they don't when I'm around. Or do they eat Walker's Looney Tunes? I don't. In fact, I think it's very bad for Try Throw them away. <laughs> right. Also, the latest upcoming. It's the lock. Right here. Smoking around children. Smoking around children. Don't you think that's a bad influence there? Just a slight bit of... Bad work report. Bad work report. Yeah, I know that. I mean, that's a bad work report. Leave now. Okay. Cut! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'd just like to have a comment on your hair. Just like to have a comment on the style... Not even on. ...and the colour of your hair. Was this a comic relief dare? Was this a comic relief dare? No, it's just quite an exciting night, you see. Oh, really? And it was all to do with Mr Jack Daniels. She was stoned. Yeah, Mr Jack Daniels, eh? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, Next. Right, OK, here we go. It's a no, it's it's a it's 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 going on. Ask it's 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 question. No, stop hanging around! Watch my get filmed, Boogie, if you make yeah. it down! <laughs> Hello, I've always wanted to ask, who are you? Huh? Who are I'm you? Your own sister. Your own sister, what's your name? Andrea. Andrea? Yeah. Right, and how old are you, Andrea? 17. So what are you doing here, then? Looking up Rowan to take him to the dentist. Are you? Good boy. Good girl. Bye-bye! <laughs> Hello. 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 And what's your name, then? Oh, I'm Mr. Palm. Have you got your light with you? My light? No, I'm afraid not. Where's your spotlight? No, I'm afraid not. Sorry, I forgot that one today. Yeah, so... So let's, um, the profile on class of the week, 5B, yeah? 5B? Yes, class of the week. 5B is a lovely class. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Workaholics are 5B. Mm -hmm. Workaholics. <laughs> um. The other way round. <laughs> New report. Worst form in the school, form four. Bye. <laughs> are you on lunch or duty? Yeah. Right, well, I'd like to publicly state that this girl is being... Sl is, this is slave labour. They should not be doing this. And I'm going to write a, a comment to the House of Commons r reporting on this. Now, who would like to start the petition? Yeah. Now, are you on lunch, all? Well, you can f*** off, then. Are you on lunch, all? You're on lunch, all? Well, you're a little girl, and you should damn well do it. People like this, my little dude. It's my well, you're an Oliver, so you discounted. It's my, it's my, I've got my monitor duties and it's just not... And freeze frame, freeze frame. Cut. Right, here we are. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. See you. My friend said, I said, Yeah. All right then, severity. All right then. Uh, hold on, stop. This is Ben Davis. This is Ben Davis reporting for RNN from the lunch hall with Slave Labour. Thank you, Ben. Shall we now go over to Keith for our routine cookery show? Bloody hell! Where's that bloody knife? What? <coughs> Hello and welcome to Keith's Kitchen. Today we will do a recipe sent in by one of our viewers. A. Mr. Matthews, Bernard Matthews, um, from Manchester. His recipe is turkey surprise. <gasps> it's escaped. Now you just put that in the oven for three to four hours. Yes, and um, when it's finished, it should look similar to this. I did say similar. On to the news, we take a look at the present situation of strangers. <clears throat> Remember, don't be fooled. Not everyone is a kind, lovable person that they seem. Don't accept sweets or gifts from strangers. And most importantly, remember, don't open doors to people you don't know. You just don't know who's going to be there. Mrs Deacon, if you would like to write a script on anything, or you have anything to advertise, 
don't hesitate to contact any of the RNN crew and they will be happy to assist. Competition time. Here by my side I have a briefcase. What you have to do is guess what is inside and the person with the closest answer will win a WH Smith voucher and an RNN baseball cap. Please put your answers in an envelope and write on them RNN competition number one. Then hand them in to Mrs Knight. Winners shall be announced next September in the sun, sand and RNN. I think that's all we have time for in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed the programme and as I said we'll be back after the holidays. I'll leave you with some footage of the Upper Fifth who are leaving us. See you soon.